hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to inherit an existing controller and make changes inside the returning values so we already have released a video about and showing how to inherit an existing controller so in that video we have shown you how to inherit the shop controller and print a print statement so yet if you haven't watched this video you can watch this so you will be getting idea about how to inherit an existing controller in Odoo so if I come back to the Odoo and if I go to the PyCharm and then if I go to my custom add-ons path so here you can see this is my custom add-ons path and here you can see if you take the OM hospital module so if I take the OM hospital module and if you go to the controllers and then to the main.py file here is the code that we have used to inherit the shop controller which renders the shop page so what we have done is from Odoo add-ons the controller that we have to inherit is in this path and using that we have inherited this controller so to this understand this process you can check the first video showing how to inherit the controller so you can see we have inherited the controller and added a print statement here that is print inherited automates so i'll be changing the string so that we can see it in the log statement so i have updated the statement and i'll be restarting the service as i have made changes inside the python code and if i go to the browser and then to the i'll be doing one thing i'll be duplicating this tab and going to the shop url so i'll be editing the url and i'll be changing the controller to slash shop so once this controller is loaded in the log you can see the print statement is coming that is inherited odoo mates so you can see we have successfully inherited this controller you can see the print is coming here while loading this page so to verify that i'll be removing the log and i'll be refreshing this page once again and here you can see inherited odoo mates has been coming again so what will be the case if you need to make some changes inside the values that we have returned from this function so if i copy this function and if i search inside the existing odoo source code so i'll be going into the odoo folder and if i find in path and if i search for these you can see this is the default function so if you check the return of this function if i scroll down you can see it's returning like a request dot render so this is rendering to this page that is website sale dot products so to this web page it is rendering these values so let's take a case where you have to pass more values so right now the values returned are search category attribute value and these set of values are returned so let's take a case where you need to make changes inside the value return to this page so in that case what you will do so you can try to print errors and see what you are getting inside the rest so what when we printed the rest so i have already printed the rest here so if i print errors once again at the top errors and see what we can see what we are getting inside the address so i'll be restarting the service once again as i have made changes inside the python code and i'll be going into the browser and i'll be refreshing the screen once again and if you check the log you can see we are getting it like a response 0 bytes to 100 okay so in this case how we will update the values that we have returned so in that case you can use the queue context so what you can do is that along with the res simply add q context so once you add a res dot q context that is the res is the variable name and along with that if you add q context and if you refresh the screen you can go to the browser and just refresh again and if you check the log you can see you are getting the value returned by the first controller so if you check the original controller you can see it has been returning search is the category attribute value everything you can receive inside the rs.q context now if you need to change the value you have returned inside the search you can do like rs.q context dot update and if you need to pass one more value test val if i'm i'm just and if i need to pass a new value to the corresponding web page i can add it like this test value is equal to Odoo mates. I'll be simply passing like this. So I am updating to the contact queue context. Rest dot queue context dot update. So we are updating the rest 
with a new value called test value and its value is Odoo meets. So let's see, I will be just restarting the service and if I go here and if I refresh the screen and let's see what comes in the response. So you can see there is no error. So I cannot show you the difference right now. So this is how we can update the value. So right now you can get the test value inside the corresponding template. So if you check this template, you can get this value. So if you check what we can check else, Q context. So res is there and let me comment this line, control D that is showing changing an existing value so using the rest.q context you can get the value returned by the original controller so using q context dot update you can update the value return from this controller so there is a red mark so let me go here once again so using rest.q context you are getting all the value and if you need to make changes inside the search you can simply rest.q context of context update like this search and you can pass the value that you have to return so this is the use of q context and you can see the use case of it in the different place so here if you check inside the source code you can see the q context has been used in different places so it simply it will be help us to get the values returned by the original controller so like this rest dot q context and what's the rest rest is the super object and if you restart the service and if you go here and if you refresh you can see the old values returned by the original controller will be coming here so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you will be getting notified regarding all the upcoming updates so that's it thank you